Welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today's video, we're going to be doing a quick little uh, modification job on some four-wheel drive riser blocks. Now, these are for a Mitsubishi Triton, and you can see the difference in heights here, depending on the size of the spacer. Now, these heights were measured from the bottom of the rim to the top of the guard. It's important not to measure from the ground because tire pressure will affect uh, this height. And some people also measure from the center of the rim, but this height, this way of measurement works as well. If we look at the CAD model now, you can see it's quite a simple design. Um, I've redrawn this in CAD and I'll just go through my methodology here with you really quickly. And uh, you can see it's a sketch and extrusion. Uh, we've put some holes in there and a uh, little pattern of those uh, slotted features. I set all this up using perimeters so I could change that height as well. And just to confirm that, we went from 25mm spacer down to 20mm. Alright, let's jump into the workshop and let's modify these today. So here's my little home machine shop and you can see I've got a, quite a few selection of uh, machinery here. Now once clocked in, in their three drawer chuck we just took a uh, numerous amounts of cuts at one mil depth of cut here and just face that down and this stuff machine like butter it had a very unique smell to it and uh, I'm starting to wonder you know was it a cast product and, and no doubt it would have been originally manufactured overseas so speaking of chips uh, let's take a look at this uh, some slow motion chips Now, whenever you're recording slow motion footage, it's uh, light is always a problem. More light is better. You want to have a overexposure because you get, your shutter speed is going very, very fast. But I love the way the chips are dancing around there. Righto, and uh, here's some little uh, footage whilst machining and after and uh, got a nice finish on that just using a carbide tip tool and my old Colchester lathe doesn't have a DRO so I'm using the old uh, dial gauge on the top slide there. Alright, uh, it was fitted back into the vehicle, you can see here a nice little close up shot of that spacer in there, reduced from 25mm down to 20mm, okay, and that altered the ride height quite considerably. So you may be wondering what's coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Well, my channel's just about to hit 15,000 subscribers and it's been a long time coming and I never ever thought I'd get there. However, um, we're going to be going back over to Vietnam, virtually of course, to my good friend Lionel, and uh, we're going to be checking out his latest venture of his big uh, DMG, DMG Murray NTX 1000 machine. And uh, he's machining a quite a few parts, I think over a hundred parts. Now this is currently running a parallel program and we just saw a big kung fu flip there of the uh, of the head. Uh, keep in mind this is down to 50% rapids. Okay, so this upcoming video, I think you're going to like it. Uh, Lionel and I will be online talking and discussing it, so how cool is that guys? 50% rapids. Okay, look, thanks for joining in and uh, hopefully we'll see you again back here on the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.